Hi guys, today we are doing a wedge skills test that is used by Jordan Spieth. So today we're looking at something that is called a skills test stroke challenge. Now this is fantastic because what it does is we've got two posts set up here. First one is 20 yards away from me and the other is separated, it's 40 yards further on, so that is up to 60 yards. Now what I'm going to be trying to do is I'm going to hit these balls, I'm going to hit them into that zone, I'm trying to land each one consecutively further than the previous one. It's not about where it's going to run out to because pitching control is all about how far you can land it. So you don't need a great facility, you don't need a green to do this because what this is doing is it's going to test where you're at in terms of being able to control the distance you can hit the ball each time. What I really like about this game as well is if you've marked down what your best is, you can then come back out the time after and it brings a little bit of kind of competitive practice into it because if you're trying to beat your personal best score previously what you do is you get a little bit of nerves into that practice so it means that you are bringing reality into your practice game and that's why the skills tests are fantastic this is one that Jordan Spieth's coach does a lot with him and I believe that Jordan I think his gap may be a little bigger than this one but his best is 27 golf balls consecutively put in there now if you hit one short of it okay this is my game that I like to do is if you hit it short of it, discount it, but you've got five lives. So if you keep hitting it short, you've got five lives until you are out. So it's about trying to hit each one consecutive. So I'm going to try and hit the first one as close as we can to kind of the little post that's out there, like 20 yards. So we're going to not land too far, too much further on than that 20 yarder. So just making sure that we're getting that body in the club interacting quite nice. That's probably landed about 22, 23 yards right there. So now I need to get this a little bit further on, this next one. So let's see what we can get. So I've, got, I've only got 12 balls here, so just giving you an idea of how this can all work for your game. That's landed probably about 24 yards. So the great thing about this game is that it really brings in the factor of feel. Okay, it's you're trying to develop the feel for your pitching. Each one's just going that little bit further. Okay, and I would say about the 20 yard mark, it's all about visual feel. It's how you can judge that distance from your eyes. Okay, but if you've got really good control of your pitching, it means that you can then, if each one starts to bring in that micro feel, so how can you add on one or two yards? At the moment, you might only be able to add on 10 yards. You might only get four or five balls in there. But if you can start to practice on a regular basis, your feel and your awareness level of where the club is and how hard you need to hit it is definitely going to improve. So that's one was about 24, so I'm try and hit this one just a fraction more. I was probably going about 26, 27 right there. That wasn't too bad. So, just need a little further again this time. Oh, that was short, I think. Oof. I think that might have been short. That would probably be a life gone right there, guys. Now, you can see right here as well, I'm a bit dewy out here this morning. I'm just using the edge of my shoe to kind of clean the club. If I was out here and I was really wanting to work on my game a lot, if you come out and it's wet surface, why not just bring a towel with you? If it keeps your playing surface nice and dry, it'll mean that you can still get the right interaction to get the strike. Because if the club starts to get really wet, the club will, the ball will react differently each time. So you want to try and make sure the surface is, that you're hitting the ball off, is dry and it's going to be consistent. So just, that has one life gone on that. See if we can just hit this one a little further. Oh, that was way too firm. Well, not bad actually. About 28, 29 yards there. So now we need to just get a little bit, a little bit further gain. Definitely just a little further there. That's probably about 32. So you can see though, guys, that you know, I've probably put four consecutive balls in there. So now, what will happen is, as the distance starts to increase, I would imagine that the gaps start to get bigger, 
Okay, so at 30 yards to 40, probably incrementally get a little bit bigger. But as I start to get up towards the 50, 60 yard mark, the gaps of how far I can land it each time will, I have no doubt, be getting bigger. So that's when the pressure is going to be on. But the great thing this can do, it will give you the touch and feel at the short distance so you know how far you are able to hit that ball, getting the feel for that incremental yardage and getting that touch and feel in your game. And then as the distance starts to go on, you can then start to learn how to pace your arms and body together. And if it's the longer shots that I really struggle on that distance control with, that is the area I need to go and work on. So after you've done your skills challenge, it highlights the yardages you struggle the most with from kind of 70 to 20 or 60 to 20, as I've done it in this instance. And it will mean that you can really sharpen your game. And this is why the likes of Jordan Spieth do this drill, because it gives them the great touch and feel and it means that they can control the landing zone every single time. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm sure there'll be lots of inf good information in this that can really help you with your game. I really like it because I think it just gives you that great touch and feel, and it also brings in a little bit of pressure to it, and pressure practice is great because it's so rare that we actually simulate on course conditions in terms of when we get a little bit nervous because we've got a good score going. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so, and I look forward to talking with you again soon.